This probably sounds fake, but I promise it's not. I wish I had some evidence it happened because it still haunts me. This happened a little while back. I was on the bus in Chicago on the way back home from work. It was on a route I always take and still do. Nothing unfamiliar at all to me. We made a stop to pick up a person, and the person that got on the bus was a fairly tall, thin, older black man that was wearing white clothing and holding a trash bag that was filled to the brim with something. It looked like clothes, but it was extremely large for riding on the bus with. His white clothing, I can't remember exactly what it looked like, but I remember thinking how impressive it was that he had on white shoes, pants, and shirt that didn't look at all stained. As he got on the bus, he started moving towards the back, and then I realized that I hadn't seen him tap his card to get on the bus, or put any money in the thing. I figured he would once he got settled, but that didn't happen. It felt as if the entire bus didn't see this person in the same way I was seeing him. No one looked at him strangely or acknowledged his existence at all, which wouldn't be unusual except for his striking all-white outfit and large black trash bag he was carrying with him. I was standing in the middle of the bus between the seats, and he started moving towards me, which, again, wasn't unusual, but when we met and he was trying to move by, he took my hand and whispered into my ear. I don't remember exactly what he said, but it was something existential and along the lines of, do you think everything will be alright? I think I said, yes. And I remember his hands being very bony, but his skin being extra soft. From the moment he was on the bus, the air felt differently. And in the moment he touched my hand, I felt calm, like meeting an old friend sort of feeling. The way he grabbed my hand wasn't forceful. It was gentle and wasn't weird at all for being a stranger on the bus. After that altercation, he let go of my hand and proceeded to get off the bus at the next stop, which didn't seem unusual until afterward. I realized he hasn't paid and only stayed on for one stop. I went home like usual and on the way home I texted my partner to tell them all about what happened. I actually wrote down what he said to me in a text at the time and I'm still trying to recover that message. I can't remember if this had happened before or after this incident on the bus, but a Lyft driver was telling me about how in her culture there is a tradition of older women who make deals with the devil and afterward they wear all white clothing and wear a rosary around their neck. She said they ask for things like people being brought back from the dead and crazy shit like that. She even said it had a name, but I can't for the life of me think of what it was called. I sometimes wonder if this is something the guy on the bus had did. It also could have just been another regular person on the bus that just happened to be wearing all white. But whatever it was, please sir, let's not meet again. When I was younger, I went to a religious education program after school that was like three blocks from my house. One night, my dad dropped me and my big sister off when I was seven, and she was nine. The church had high school classes on different nights, so when we realized we weren't supposed to be there, the priest just told me and my sister to go home. So that was already bad, but it was winter, and I was freezing and complaining. When we got legit just a block from the church, a car pulled up next to us. It was a lady in the front and a guy in the passenger seat. She looked like my religious ed teacher. She said, hey girls, do you guys want to ride? Your mom sent us. My mom works nights and we called nobody to tell them we were walking. My sister was smart enough to say in an instant no but I tried to walk up to their car because I was the smartest kid. So my sister made us change routes and we got home a bit later. The next time we went to that church, my dad asked my teacher if she was the woman in the car. She was pretty concerned because she wasn't. So a special thanks to my sister for not letting me get kidnapped. Pretty horrifying that possible kidnappers were right in the neighborhood I still live in. 
Me and a big group of friends were at a gas station at like 2 a.m. We live in a small town, so there's nothing better to do. A man with two backpacks on, no shirt, and a pair of pants tied around his neck came up to my car and opened my door. He started talking really fast, and I could barely understand what he was saying. Something about trying to sell a gun and being broke. He wouldn't let me close the door, and he wouldn't shut up, so after a few minutes I got pissed off and kicked him in the chest and closed the door. He went into the gas station and I gathered up the 10 other people I was with and we planned to jump him. When he came out of the gas station, we all started roasting him. He began laughing hysterically and walked around the corner of the building. A few seconds later we heard a shotgun pump and he fired a shot into the air. All 10 of us sprinted to our cars and drove off in about 0.2 seconds. One of my friends called the cops and called the gas station to warn the clerk who was there alone. We never found out who the guy was or what happened to him. That kind of thing just isn't common where I live. Our county is known nationwide as the meth capital of the world. Gotta love Franklin County. I live in New York City and public transportation is like the main source of getting around here. The beginning part may or may not get confusing, but bear with me. Before I start, I must say this is not that interesting or long, but I felt the need to make the post because even though I get uncomfortable sometimes in situations where I don't feel safe, I never felt the need to move to another location, if that makes any sense. I get off at the last stop of a train. In order to get off at the stop before where I usually get off, you must be in one of the first five carts in order to get out of that stop. There are a total of ten carts. The whole train doesn't fit in the station, so that is the reason why all 10 carts don't open. So, moving along. People in the city are glued to their phones. If you drive in New York City, be careful, like seriously, because people here don't seem to value their lives crossing the street staring at their phones. I use my phone often, but I am always aware of my surroundings. I like to sit in the sixth car, where the conductor is because those doors don't open and the cart is usually empty. Three stops before the last stop, a man gets on. I think nothing of it, so I keep reading reddit stories on my phone. I glance at him and I notice he is wearing a silver Halloween mask. Red flag number one for me, but wasn't so severe I shrug it off and keep using my phone. I glance up again and notice he's not wearing any shoes or socks. I thought to myself, okay, he's homeless, normal thing in the city. A minute or two passes by and I'm on my phone at this point. I notice him looking around and moving his stuff. That was red flag number two for me. He then pulled out those little scissors you can use to cut hair and started playing with it while looking around. That was red flag number three for me and that was it. At this point, it's two stops before mine. The last chance you have to transfer to the first five carts, I got out and went to the front of the train. Now, I could have been exaggerating, but I just felt so uneasy and uncomfortable once I saw the scissors in his hand. I also noticed in my head that Halloween is coming up and crazy things start to happen around this time. I did not want to be around if something was to happen, and if something did happen, I could have been hurt if I did not follow my gut or could have seen something traumatizing. As soon as my stop arrived, I sped walk out of the train station, looking behind me here and there, and I sprinted home. Guy wearing the Halloween mask? Even though we didn't really meet, let's not meet, ever. So I'm a university student. There's a sushi place with great sushi within walking distance from my campus. So I went and got sushi to go, and I was walking back to campus with it. I was holding the bag with sushi in it. I passed a guy on the sidewalk. He looked homeless and he was dirty, and his clothes were a bit tattered. So as I was passing him, I shit you not, he looked me dead in the eyes and said, 
I'd kill you for that food. And he wasn't using a joking kind of tone. He sounded dead serious. I just stopped and looked at him. He kept walking and said once more, I'd kill you for that food. I was in shock upon hearing this and a little bit scared. I watched him walk off and once he was quite a ways from me, he looked back and mouthed, kill you. I didn't call the police because he'd have been gone by the time they got there. I was just shocked and to be honest, I'm really glad he didn't pull out a knife or something. I'm glad to be alive. So creepy homeless guy, let's not meet.